What happened to Prophet Isaiah? The Prophet Who Walked Naked and Barefoot In this video, we are going to explore the mysteries surrounding one of the most intriguing characters in the scriptures. The Prophet Isaiah, his life and final destiny are as enigmatic as they are fascinating, full of surprising acts and tragic outcomes. Isaiah is imagined not in sumptuous and majestic garments but stripped of all the layers of civilization, naked as the raw truth that he announced for three endless years. The tour saw the alleys and squares exposed to the world as a living symbol of the truths he preached, but the destiny of Isaiah did not. It's just a common narrative. It's an enigma that intrigues even the wiser. How his end must have been really closed in the middle. The prophet Isaiah was born around the year 765 BC in Jerusalem, destined to become a prominent figure in history being one of the most important prophets of the Old Testament. His role as a prophet in the kingdom of Judah during the reigns of notable monarchs, such as Josiah, Achis, Jotham, Hezekiah, and Manasseh, Isaiah prophesied at a critical time when the Assyrian Empire was expanding, generating instability in the region. The biblical book that bears his name is a capsule of the time containing visions, prophecies, and warnings that resonate to this day. Imagine the old kingdom of Judah in the turbulent 6th century BC. Here King Hezekiah rises as a leader amid a sea of political and military challenges as powers like Syria and Egypt play their power game smaller kingdoms like Judah remain vulnerable. It is in this context of uncertainty and imminent danger that God calls Isaiah to be his prophet and spokesman for his message to both the king and the people of Judah. Isaiah stands out not only for his expressive and powerful prophecies, but also for its ability to transmit messages symbolic that resonate deeply. Its purpose is to revive the people's faith in God and strengthen their obedience to his commandments. But what really draws attention is a notable gesture by Isaiah. He walks naked through the streets for three long years, act that intrigues and challenges our understanding and leads us to wonder why this prophet exposed himself in such an extreme way. Verses 2 to 10 of Isaiah chapter 20 reveal a fascinating glimpse into the mentality of a prophet determined to convey the divine message at all costs. Now let's dive in. Monkeys in the very prophecy, where God instructs Isaiah unexpectedly leaves us speechless, not only because of the dramatic nature of the order, but also because of the deep symbolic meanings it contains. God orders Isaiah to perform an extraordinary act, walk barefoot and naked for three long years. But this is more beyond one. The superficial eccentricity of a prophet is in fact a powerful symbol that God uses through Isaiah to communicate with the people of Judah. But why did Isaiah need to do something so radical? What was the reason behind this dramatic display? The answer lies in the divine purpose behind this prophecy. Isaiah's nakedness and act of walking barefoot served as a prophetic warning of what was to come. They were a vivid sign and revelation of the destiny that awaited Egypt, Ethiopia, and Syria at that time. Rising as a superpower, while nation's smaller ones faced growing threats, the impact of Isaiah's gesture would resonate as a constant reminder of this divine warning. Every glance directed towards him would become a vivid reminder of God's message and the destiny that awaited those who allied themselves with Egypt and Ethiopia against Syria throughout. From the pages of biblical history, it is fascinating how we often witness the fulfillment of God's prophecies. Even if they may initially surprise us or seem unexpected, the message delivered through the symbolic action of Isaiah is no exception to this. Rule according to the sacred scriptures and records historical of the time during the reign of Sennacherib, Assyria launched a brutal invasion on Egypt and Ethiopia. This incursion was marked by unprecedented devastation leaving a trail of destruction and misery. The captives were torn from their lands, stripped of everything, even of their dignity being carried barefoot and with their bodies exposed in a cruel act of dehumanity and humiliation. This tumultuous event generated deep suffering in the affected nations, leaving lasting marks in the collective memory. The connection between this tragedy and the symbolic attitude of Isaiah when walking barefoot and naked, it certainly wouldn't go unnoticed. For the people of Judah, they witnessed the prophet carrying out this intriguing gesture, understanding that it was a vivid intation of the divine message. 
Thus, the message of God was transmitted in an unmistakable and impactful way, resonating through the centuries as a reminder of the power and divine justice. But what was the importance of this narrative for the people of Judah? When reflecting on past events, it is crucial to understand the impact and relevance of this story. For the inhabitants of Judah, the image of Isaiah walking naked and barefoot and the subsequent fulfillment of his prophecy would become vivid memories of the undeniable power of God and his unwavering commitment to his people, as well as the devastating consequences of turning away from divine ways. These events transcended time, leaving a lasting impression on the collective consciousness of the people of Judah, serving as a reminder of the importance of faithfulness to God and the inevitable consequences of disobedience. When analyzing this story centuries later, in a modern and completely different world, we realize that the fundamental lessons still resonate from the experience of the people of Judah, too. Despite the changes over time, we face the magnitude of God's power and the consequences of ignoring His guidance. But this story goes beyond mere reflections on the past and challenges us to consider how far we are willing to go to transmit the divine message to the world just as Isaiah is, called to maintain our fidelity to God. Even if that leads us to uncomfortable situations when we read about Isaiah walking naked and barefoot through the streets for three consecutive years, it is natural that doubts arise about the veracity of this account. The passage in Isaiah chapter 20 verse 2 can raise doubts about whether Isaiah really walked naked being the subject of debate among biblical scholars. Some argue that Isaiah would not have walked completely naked through the streets but would have been wearing some underwear or thong, while others defend the literal interpretation that he was completely naked. Naked. This issue continues to be debated and there is no definitive consensus on the matter regardless of the specific interpretation. Isaiah's act of stripping himself is considered symbolic and loaded with meaning, representing humiliation and submission to the will of God, in addition to being a prophetic message for the people of Israel. But Isaiah's journey is far from having a common outcome. A tragic destiny awaited this brave prophet according to ancient traditions and later accounts found mainly in non-biblical sources such as apocryphal texts and traditions oral. His death was even more impressive and in some ways horrifying. Despite Isaiah's significant contributions, his end remains shrouded in mystery and uncertainty. Isaiah, with his courage to challenge established authority, motivated by his unwavering devotion to God, to often put him in conflict. With the leaders of his time, Isaiah vigorously criticized the decisions of the kings, denouncing injustice and calling for divine justice. This challenging stance according to Jewish tradition eventually came into conflict with King Manasseh whose religious views and practices were opposite to the. The prophet Manasseh deviated from faith in God by abandoning the traditions of his ancestors and immersing himself in dark practices such as the worship of evil entities according to the accounts during the persecution led by King Manasseh Isaiah sought refuge within a cedar but even hidden the edges of its garments. They betrayed their location by revealing often challenging content of the prophetic messages. Furthermore, the reference to the possible martyrdom of Isaiah in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 37 adds an intriguing layer to this story. In this verse it is mentioned that some were stoned shut by the half, tempted and killed by the edge of the sword suggesting the possibility of Isaiah's final destiny in the apocryphal book of the ascension of Isaiah and we find an even more detailed account of the prophet's death according to this work false prophets mocked Isaiah while enduring the terrible torment of being closed by. Surprisingly half Isaiah stood firm without crying or screaming in pain under the influence of the Holy Spirit he continued to proclaim his message until his last breath the exact way in which Isaiah died remains an enigma but it is undeniable that his life and his work left a deep mark on their legacy resonates as an inspiring testimony of courage and commitment to truth and justice although his journey may have had a tragic outcome the impact of his voice and message continues to resonate powerfully transcending beyond his departure from this world its history, invites us to seek the same conviction and audacity in our own journey strengthening our resolve to remain steadfast in the pursuit of truth and justice no matter what obstacles we encounter may God bless us with the same determination and faith that guided Isaiah on his journey may we find strength in his presence and 
inspiration in your words. May the light of your truth shine upon us guiding us through the storms of life and may we share that light with all those around us guiding them to you now we would like to know if you have ever imagined in the skin of Isaiah how would you react to challenges. So extraordinary share your reflections in the comments below do not forget to subscribe to our channel and share this video with your friends and family until the next video God bless you.